South Africa's Minister of Defense says South Africa was justified to withdraw its troops from South Sudan following logistical challenges the forces were faced with. Minister Nosivio Mapis Angagule says amongst these challenges were platoons being ambushed and being unable to provide nor support them with necessary material. South African troops have been deployed in South Sudan for over 12 years as part of the African Union United Nations hybrid operation in Darfur. But this hasn't been without difficulties. Despite enormous problems with deployment, a good service was rendered. However, challenges remain which were communicated to the Commander-in-Chief. If the mission does not have the kind of support which we thought we would enjoy, the kind of support which would be provided to us, by the United Nations, if the United Nations cannot make an intervention so that we are able to do our work, well, we felt that uh, maybe it's about time the Commander-in-Chief then takes a decision to withdraw the troops. Nakula says the lack of proper intervention left the South African government with no other alternative but withdraw. If people now were actually literally making it difficult for us to protect the civilians we had gone there, to protect particularly women and children, then so be it. It means that we have no work to do in, in Sudan, so let our people come back home and let there be fresh uh, discussions about where else you want to deploy them. In his statement, President Jacob Zuma, the Commander-in-Chief, said the termination will take effect from the 1st of April 2016. The measures also come at a time when South Africa's economy is struggling and government finances are under strain. Lehana Tsutetsi, SABC News, Johannesburg.